So for today, we're going to be looking at Mask of Bacchus. This did get asked for not too long ago, and I'm pretty happy about that considering this is actually like one of my favorite exotics, which is pretty funny considering I actually think it looks terrible, but the set that I made as a whole, I think looks amazing. And you will be looking at that set shortly. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it considering there's a lot of people that come to my channel that are not subscribed. So if you guys like Destiny 2 fashion or just Destiny 2 in general, then make sure to like, comment, uh, subscribe, hit that bell notification because this is literally all I do. We just look at fashion all the time. So again, I appreciate you guys and let's just get into it. So the exotic perk that Mask of Backers has is called Light Shift. It places your stasis subclass dodge ability with a longer range faster moving shift that partially cloaks you during use after shifting your arc weapons deal increased damage to combatants for a short time and you deal increased damage to all slowed or frozen combatants so as much as i love this exotic i think the last portions are fucking terrible uh specifically the arc weapon bonus damage it's only on pve and it's fucking terrible and the increased damage to all slowed or, or frozen combatants, although cool, it really doesn't change the fact that you can't, your dodge does not replenish for 10 seconds. And it's pretty terrible. <laughs> like, actually, pretty terrible. So instead of light shift being like something like, oh, this is cool, it's literally just, oh shit, this is my fucking negative perk that I get because I can just dot. I don't know. I, I'm really annoyed with the fact that light shift just it i, I don't want to talk too much about this just because again uh, i understand why we get a 10 second nerf but at the same time like we're not gonna just act like kaiden ramparts wasn't essentially that but more stronger and it didn't have this stupid arbitrary 10 second like nerf i don't know i'm just i'm salty about it but at the same time what the fuck ever is hunters this is the life we live um i know people are gonna be like hunters are broken uh, eat my ass bro i don't care i don't want to fight about this as for how it actually looks i think it looks cool but at the same time also bad i don't know how to explain this like it looks cool by itself but then when i try to combine it with other pieces and then i just start kind of start getting mad because i'm like i want it to look a certain way but it's not looking this way and god forbid you have a, a cloak that doesn't have a hood because then you're gonna look at the back and you're just gonna be like oh this dude's bald so there's a lot of negative things to this helmet but at the same time the set that i made with it i really really like and before we look into that let's look at how it actually shaders echo anger looks really really cool with it to be fair echo anger looks really cool with pretty much everything echo anger is a really good shader uh abyssinian gold looks really really cool with it as well surprisingly that being said it will just have that brown color to it so just again be aware of that the glows on the eyes should actually change color if i remember correctly but I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I'm like super duper, like a thousand percent sure. My only, th the only reason I'm kind of doubting myself is because Abyssinian Gold does not have a blue shade or a blue glow, which is why I'm like, does it change color? It should change color because I remember um, the Gambit shader, uh, Jade's, whatever that shader is called. I remember it changing that, but again, I can't really tell off, off the top of the, the shaders that I have right now. So that being said, Let's actually look at the example set because I think it looks really, really cool. As for the example set, this is a variation of a set I made a long time ago. I think I think I made a video. I did make a video on it. It's right here. And I think it was my entry for uh, the fashion thing that Bungie was doing that I immediately gave up because I don't want to say anything negative about the winners that got chosen, but I'm just going to say those were not ones that i would have chosen let's just say that that's the nicest way i can say that because just saying like they're straight garbage is not productive and honestly i wouldn't say that because they're not garbage it's just i don't think they would i don't think they represent the best of the best let's just say that uh for the whole set i was going for a house of devils look uh if you guys don't know it's a house from the fallen specifically like old house i think they're all dead i don't remember i'm not a big lore guy but i do know that i needed to get the colors right and unfortunately the only piece that i really really don't like is the rose scale shader for the cloak to be fair though 
Tangled Web Cloak is just a terrible cloak to shader because that shit that shit shaders fucking terribly. But for the other pieces, you're gonna go for Crucible Legacy because those are the this this shader has almost all of the House of Devils colors. So for the arms, Diamondsborn Grips was I wouldn't say an easy choice because I am going for a fallen slash tactical hybrid i guess you would say because the helm that we are using is from a fallen enemy the arms is not fallen but it is tactical which is why i'm saying that for the chest piece it is actually fallen themed i know people will find that weird but it is fallen themed for the boots again that is technically that's more splicer themed but for me splicer fallen makes sense and entangled web obviously is uh fallen themed so this would technically be my fallen inspired look but if i'm being quite honest the tangled web arms with the uh, i what's it called the the all fur cloak from the same season that season of splicer uh i'll have a picture of the old set right now just because just to show you that would be a better representative of a fallen themed look but i do think this one looks better overall just because I think it gives it a little bit more twist, more uh, unique, not uniqueness, but a little bit more individuality considering I'm using other pieces that are not falling themed, specifically the arm. And I think that works way better. So this is definitely my favorite. I would probably still go with an outright, like just black, like a blackout uh, color for or color scheme, I should say, just because I think that looks way better with a uh, mask of Bacchus. I think it just looks super, super cool and menacing. And I would probably switch back to the old shader or the old uh, cloak that I was using just because I like the fur and it just looks really cool with this set. That being said, the Diamonds Born Grips will, will always stay just because the tangled web arms. I don't like the fact that one arm looks really, really small and the other arm is really, really big. Um, if both arms look kind of the same, but the spikes at the bit or at the right arm was still there, I wouldn't mind it actually. As for the ornament, we're looking at the Beastly Visage ornament. It looks so, so cool. Let me just get that out of the way. It looks so fucking cool. Just be aware that this exotic or this ornament is going to be really, really weird to like fashion around. Uh, at least for me, I was trying to go for a lot of things. Like maybe I want to go for like a primalistic look, maybe like a monster look. And yeah, it, it came out really wild. The, the example set. I think looks super super cool but before we get into the example set let's actually look at how it shaders because i think it shaders really really well that being said i am seeing a lot of off colors for a lot of pieces specifically for echoed anger you guys will see that there's a lot of white in there and i don't think white is a main color specifically for like uh, plate armor and stuff so that is something to note the Abyssinian Gold Shader also, you see a lot of black in there. So black is the off color for Abyssinian Gold. So just be aware that there is a lot of off color that this uh, helmet takes. Other than that, I don't think that's going to be a big deal considering there's going to be a lot of pieces that are going to look cool with the off colors in the back. As for the example set, again, I ended up going with something like beastly, something like, like a monster type thing. And i think the cold bird forester is just an easy choice i also did pick this from a i think i made this into a video if i can find it i'll have it up right now if not then i guess i'm, I'm just amazing and i made this i don't remember when honestly but i think this is super cool lichen grips and lichen cloak was an easy choice because again i want some fur in there to really showcase that monster look the dark hollow chitin with the Apilos falling strides was also easy considering bone easy choice especially with the beastly visage being like so like like uh there's a lot of fangs in there and like just overall i think it looks really really cool i, I the only thing i would probably say is if you really want to go the extra mile with that bone color then you could probably use the dream, dreaming spectrum shader just because it will turn every every plate armor into a bone color and I do think that's going to look a little bit cooler. There is another shader from Crystal of Osiris, specifically the uh, one of the Vex colors. It's not it's not the white and gold one, and it's not the the rusty one. It's the the, the, the brown one. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. But that shader is going to be really good because it also gives a much more brown color. So it will still look like 
like bone, but it'll look like a dark bone. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally really like the first one a lot more just because it, it looks like to me, I always envision my hunter with like iconic looks that I've made. And that one is definitely up there with with the other sets that I've made, which now that speaking of which I should probably make a video of, of like my top like five like, iconic looks of my hunter, because for me, I have like three or four sets that I have that I just immediately like my head imagines it. I mean, for God's sake, one of one of them I have as my actual uh, profile picture for my YouTube and pretty much everything, which is the uh, the Neoteric Kiat, um cloak and the prodigal chess piece with other pieces as well but those two pieces specifically are just like these are my hunter so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below again if you guys want to ask for anything in the in destiny 2 specifically like it doesn't even have to be anything specific if you just want me to oh can you just post how you play P pvp or do something like that i'll get started in it I'll, or at least i'll put it in the list and think about it how about that so let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.